Good morning, everyone. Um, as, um, as indicated, I'm Bernadette Walsh. I'm from the University of Limerick, and I'm the Director of Student Affairs in the, in the, um, in the Student Affairs Division. So, um, just trying to, no, I've gone too far. So um, that's the division there. Um, we have nine different units. They are primarily to support students. There's the kind of student welfare areas, student health, chaplaincy, and uh, counselling. Then there is the uh, underrepresented student offices, and there the access office, the mature student office, and the disability support office. And then I have uh, three areas which I call the student development areas, which are around the arts, um, civic engagement, getting students involved in volunteering and the first year experience and retention officer. And that's, uh, some of these units are just one person units, they're not all big units, some of them are big six or eight or whatever. Um, the university about two years ago decided to um, appoint um, a new, uh, make, I put together a business case for a new role in the university which is um, at the time was called the first year experience and retention coordinator, which is a bit a bit of a mouthful. And my colleague Sarah Gibbons was appointed into that, but however Sarah has moved into the into a different area in the Centre of Teaching and Learning, so the role is back up to be filled again and we've retitled it this time to um, our first year support coordinator. And there is a virtual unit in the University of Limerick, which is kind of unique, really, because it's three areas, it's student affairs, it's the centre of teaching and learning, and it's the library, all looking with a resource, a dedicated resource in each of those units, working together closely in relation to engaging students, ensuring that they're successful, and as a corollary, that they're retained. So that's kind of the purpose of that unit, and um, we meet regularly, and... Um, we are, um, we're doing great work, I think, so far. Um, the opportunities are that, you know, that integrated approach is three very different areas in the university trying to support students and trying very much to engage students. And that by engaging students, I mean engaging them in the classroom and engaging them outside the classroom. Um, our, as I said, our first year support coordinator role is new um, and um, developing. It's kind of a greenfield site, really, for that role um, as yet. I mean, there's a lot of data analytics in it, which I'll come to in again. So that's, a, um, that's a challenge for us. Um, also, that there is beginning to be champions around the university, um, around the whole student engagement and success, com coming from the top down, which is good. Because I think unless we have somebody who is passionate about student engagement and success, at very senior level in the university. You know, we could be doing a lot of very good work, but it might uh, not be heard at the top table. The challenges for us are the whole data. What data should we be looking at? What data should we be um, collecting? So as it can inform university policy. I mean, it's interesting to hear that, you know, attendance isn't necessarily um, a, a marker of student success at the end of the day. But, uh, so. We don't have an attendance policy, but is that something we might want? So, you know, that type of data so that we can be looking strategically and making strategic decisions around what the data is informing us. That's a challenge. Where? What data? The tracking mechanisms um, to identify at-risk students. We are already identifying at-risk students in all sorts of ad hoc ways and doing our best to support those students. But it's, you know, all these data sets and how do we pull them all together? And um, I suppose t today already I've learned some, something because somebody uh, mentioned they are here to learn, and I've certainly learned, you know, that there is this um, national analytics forum and and the development of you know the expert groups, and I certainly want to feed into that. Um, so that's good to know. And um, uh, so, like, sorry, and uh, sorry again. Um, I really struggled with this because I said uh, where to go next because it's a minefield literally you know we already collect so much data and I hate the idea of collecting more data and more reports and uh, you know using valuable resources in the university and then they they're all just left aside because they're not in for no strategic decisions so 
it's you know I, I really need guidance in relation to well where should we be starting and we're having a discussion around that today and that's good um, but it is at the end of the day for me around ensuring that students have a good experience and what does, does that mean and that we get them in we in the first semester that it's key that we keep them happy that they have that sense of belonging and how do we get that for them <coughs> so that you know they are successful at the end of semester one and then they're progressing. I believe that if we can get them through first year, we can, we, they're really on their way. So we feel, you know, the KPIs there, what would that look like? Um, and just even, you know, looking at the, uh, the institutional data that we have um, in relation to some of the programs where we know there's serious issues around uh, student engagement and our failure rates and non-completion rates. So that's Thank you.